Hello everyone. I just wanted to welcome everybody back to Charlie's Garage and I wanted to do a quick video on what is valve overlap and how it pertains to diesel engine tune-ups. So if you look around me right here, we see a whole bunch of small mid-range diesel engines and they have a couple of things in common. Despite the fact that some of these are internationals like this one and some are Cummins like those over there, all these mid-ranges share one common thing and that is that the tune-up procedure on them is relatively the same. So every inline six cylinder diesel engine has a firing order of 153624. So they also have companion cylinders and a companion cylinder is a cylinder that travels up and down at the same time. So for example, the companion cylinders on this one, cylinder number one and cylinder number six are travel companions. But just because they're both traveling up at the same time does not mean they're on the same stroke. They're actually on opposite upward strokes. So if cylinder number one is coming up on the compression stroke, it means cylinder number six is coming up on the exhaust stroke. Now, why this is important is that it can help you identify engine position. So if we think about the compression and power strokes, our valves are closed during those entire strokes, which means that the rocker arms during those strokes are gonna be loose like this one, right? So if we look along this engine, here we have a one rocker arm that's really tight. That means the valve is open. The only time on an engine like this that both valves are open at the same time is top dead center of the exhaust stroke. So that's what we mean by valve overlap. And it only occurs at top dead center of the exhaust stroke. So that means if I can identify that cylinder number six is in valve overlap, that means that it's at the top of its exhaust stroke, which means its travel companion, cylinder number one, is at top dead center of the compression stroke. Now, why is that important? Because anytime you're doing a tune-up on one of these engines, it's gonna have you look for overlap usually on cylinder number six. When cylinder number six is in overlap and one is on compression, then you'll usually see a typical tune-up chart that tells you you can adjust both of these valve lashes and then it's intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, and neither, right? And then you rotate the engine 360 degrees. When you rotate the engine one full rotation, what it does is it takes this one from top dead or center exhaust and puts it into top dead center compression and now number one will be an overlap. Now you can adjust all the ones that you didn't adjust before. So it's exhaust intake, exhaust intake, and both. That's fairly simple. So the process with this, the reason why we have to adjust these on a diesel and the reason why we call this an overhead set or a diesel engine tune-up is because as components wear in the valve train, especially the valve seat and the valve face, it changes the clearance between this valve bridge and this elephant's foot on the rocker arm. And what happens is you start to lose the distance between the two that allows room for heat expansion. That could cause a valve to hang open when it's not supposed to, or it can cause it to delay the opening of the valve or affect the valve duration. So by doing a tune-up and readjusting the valve lash or the clearance between these two items right here, what we're doing is putting it back into this factory spec for allowing room for that heat expansion. Some vehicles will ask you to do uh, the exhaust at say 25, 26 thousandths and an intake at 20 thousandths or 10 thousandths. Uh, but some engines like this International, they want the intake and exhaust and everything adjusted to the same. On this engine, it's 19 thousandths. So how do you do the adjustment? It's pretty simple. Put a feeler gauge right in here between this rocker arm elephant's foot and this bridge right here. And then you're gonna feel for drag in between the two with the feeler gauge. This here is the lock nut that locks the adjustment in place. You would need to loosen this back off the adjusting screw, put your feeler gauge in, and then adjust the adjusting screw while you feel for that drag. Once you have the proper amount of drag, then you tighten the lock nut. Always double check after you've tightened the lock nut, recheck your lash, because sometimes you'll end up turning this adjusting screw when you tighten this nut. So what I usually like to do is I'll adjust this until I get just the right amount of drag, and then I'll back the adjusting screw off just a little bit and then I'll tighten up the lug nut. And that usually brings me right back to that perfect spot. Uh, but always recheck. 
The other thing you always want to recheck is before you put the valve cover back on one of these, check in the head area and make sure that you have gotten all the tools and parts and everything out of it. Just think about what one little ratchet or something could do inside here if you left it in. It could cause some major damage. So always double check for tools and parts uh, before you finish up. And then also double check to make sure you did the adjustment right. Um, one of the things you should see is if you think about it, we're only compensating for a few thousandths of an inch of wear here and there. So when you look at the adjusting screw and the lock nuts, if you see a huge difference in the amount of thread showing from one adjusting screw to the next, that's an indicator that something's wrong. And that could be anything from you uh, adjusted it improperly or maybe it has a bent push rod. So never just assume that you did it right. If you see something like that, always go back and re try to reperform that adjustment. And if it won't adjust correctly, uh, then start investigating. All right. <clears throat> so whether you're working on an international like this one or a Cummins like this one, that procedure is still the same. You adjust half the valves with number one at top dead center compression and the other half other half of the valves with number six at top dead center compression. Um, this is a critical thing. And what's nice about this is if you remember the tune-up procedure, right? If you remember which valves to adjust with one at TDC compression and which valves to adjust with number six at TDC compression, really the only piece of information you're missing is what size fueler gauge that you need for each one. And luckily for us on most diesel engines, that can be found on the engine's data plate. Uh, valve lash adjustment is often a common thing they put on there. So if you're working on a friend's uh, diesel and he has a small medium duty truck and he's got a diesel in it and needs a tune up, just follow this simple procedure and you'll be set. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And uh, to subscribe quickly, just push the little Mustang down in the lower left hand right hand corner. Thank you so much. See you later.